Listen, I don't know what the devil is trying to throw your way, but if you find yourself waiting, then just praise him through the wait. You know, this life is filled with all kinds of twists and turns, and the unknown is what tries to take our faith. But this is where God needs you to trust him, to know he's protecting you through all of this. I know for me, I can become so impatient and so ready for everything to change that I honestly start to question everything. But it's in this moment right now that we have to take some time to reflect on what God is asking us to do. Times it's like we just want all the answers and it can feel like, God, where are you at? But he's always speaking and he's always right there. I know for me, it's like this. I just want to know what's next. But that's when I had to stop leaning on my own understanding and just allow God to be God. He's going to make a way and I can just feel this churning in the spirit that everything is going to be okay. Will you trust me? Will you let me guide you? And will you understand that I have the plan? See, God is saying to someone right here, right now, he hasn't abandoned you and he never ever will. He will always be there. And when you least expect it, and when you think all hope is lost, come on, man, God shows up. And then he says, okay, now, right now, right now, it's your time. Time to rest, time to press in, time to shine. For far too long, you have dimmed your light. For too long, the devil has tried to take what's yours, but now you gotta stand in the face of all this adversity and then keep fighting. There's no reason to allow that worry to consume you any longer and your time is coming. And God has already approved you. I just, I just feel like the approval is in the works for whatever you're praying for. And God is about to move on your behalf. See, it's like this, when we are in the waiting room and we just feel like there's no hope, we're just waiting and waiting. We're waiting for an answer. We're waiting for our time. But see, in the wait, God is right there with you. Check this out in Isaiah 41, 12 through 13. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not. I am the one who helps you. In the fret over all that what if this and what if that because God's got you and he always will. It's within times like these that we only need to be still and tap in to what God is trying to show us right now. He's not going to let you down. Just pause right here and remember everything he has already brought you through. It's in these seasons that we can rest and know that he is sovereign over all of this. God, we need you to step in and do what you do right now psalm 32 8 says it like this i will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go i will counsel you with my eye upon you see those past situations and feel like well things just always go wrong but i'm telling you god is not like us humans who just walk away he sticks by our sides no matter what and watches over us just take a deep breath right here like for real take a deep breath I'm gonna give you a second or two. You got tense again. And remember, remember, remember where God has brought you from. And I know you really have been through a lot, but look how strong you really are. You know, that strength that you have, it actually doesn't come from any human origin because that's a God thing right there. Listen, I don't know who this message is for, and I don't know why God is putting this on my heart, but God has already seen all of this, and he knows what's next. His heart is actually bleeding for you, and when Jesus took his last breath on that cross, he thought about you. So in this season of waiting, just remember whose you are. Just remember all the things that God has brought you through, and no, and no, he won't stop making a way right now. He will always see us through. And when we fully lean on him, anything is possible. Anything can happen. And miracles, yeah, they're still happening today. So I just want to say this. Get ready for good news. 
get ready for good news. It's nothing like what you were thinking and everything is still right on time. And everything, yeah, everything is still going just as planned. Isaiah 14, 24 says it like this, the Lord Almighty has sworn, surely as I have planned, so it will be. And as I have purposed, so it will happen. See, God always has a purpose for everything and never does he act on accident. And he never acts just because. There is always a reason for everything and nothing happens by coincidence. That's just what I believe and I stand on that. Sometimes God has to make certain things happen because when they do, then the next chain reaction can happen just as he said that it would. This is why everything happens just the way that it is supposed to because his ways are higher than our ways and his plans greater than our plans. So will you trust in him? Will you lean on him? Will you take his hand and let him guide you? And I want to show you this in Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. So it's about to get so good. It's about to get really, really good. And you only need to worship while you wait. Okay, I know I haven't done this in a while, but bring it in real quick. Let me hug that neck. So right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I speak a miraculous renewal in your mind, a healing in your body. I speak to that anxiety to go right now. I pray for a speedy recovery and a quick healing to take place right now. I ask that the God of the universe meet you right now, wherever you find yourself. I ask that the Holy Spirit to step into your situation and bring you to that place of peace and wholeness in your mind. I command all the storms that are raging and trying to talk you into quitting and I push them back right now and I push back the plans of the enemy over your life. I ask that God gives you a peace like no other while you are waiting to hear back. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, so think about how Jesus was prophesied about for hundreds of years all the way back into the story of Abraham and see how God was prophetically showing us what was to come. I mean, really, the Bible is actually pointing to Jesus in every single story. You just have to allow the Holy Spirit to really show you. But see, sometimes we get so caught up and that we actually miss the small clues that God is trying to give us. See, that's what the Bible was doing, giving us clues at what was coming and ultimately pointed to God's salvation plan for the entire world. Each prophet, each story, each and everything in the Bible was pointing to one thing. And guess what that was? Jesus. So I don't know what you're up against right now. And each thing that is happening in your life is actually pointing to something. It's actually a prophetic unction that God is trying to instill in you. And God is about to show up in your situation and blow your mind at how he does. Check this out in Luke 4, 20 through 21. And he rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, today, yes, today, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. So look, even if it feels like you should give up or stop trying, I'm not going to let you do that, all right? I'm not going to let you give up right here. You have to keep pushing because what's up ahead is so good. And God is about to show up and show out in your situation. So keep going, my friend, for real. Keep going because it's about to happen for you. And now is your time. So right here at the end of this video, type this. Say, I'm going to worship while I wait. Listen, I love you so much. I'll see you on the next one.